All right, so this is junior high math. Test will be Friday, um, April the 5th. Um, it's going to cover sections 11.1 through 11.4. 11.1 deals with relations and functions. Now, one thing that seems to be one of the hard problems on the test uh, would be uh, to write a function value. So if I gave you um, some data and just find a good one. If the data was, for instance, here is the input which if we recall uh, input and output, input is the same as x, output is the same as a y value. If I told you that uh, the input data is 1, 2, 3, and 4, the output data or the y values are 1, 4, 7, and 10. Now on both of these sets of data, we want to determine uh, what the relationship is between the X and the Y. The way that we do that would be to write a function rule. Okay? And in order, our finished product or the answer to our question in a very valuable equation uh, for tomorrow's test, but also through most of uh, mathematics from here on out, is in the form of y equals mx plus b. Now, on this, both of uh, the y and the x on our answer, those are always going to be just the y and the x. Our two places that we'll have actual numbers or values in will be for the m and for the b. Now, we need to find the m first. m is equal to slope. Slope is our rise over our run. Now, the way that we find slope on this is very simple. We say slope is equal to uh, delta, which stands for change, the change in the y's over the change in the x's. Okay? So I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to pick two sets uh, or two uh, ordered pairs. Uh, let's go with uh, 10 and 7 and 4 and 3. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of block that off so you can see what we're looking at. All right, I'm going to say for slope, m is equal to uh, 10 minus 7 over 4 minus 3. And I get 3 over 1, which is equal to 3. So now I know one piece of my information. My slope for my m is 3. Now... I need to find my B. And if you recall, B uh, on the equation for a line is equal, is our y-intercept, or where this uh, equation of a line crosses the y-axis on a coordinate graph. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say y equals 3x plus B. I'm going to plug my 3 in for my M. I'm going to go back and let's just pick a um, random point. Uh, let's go with where x is 1 and y is 1. That, that's pretty easy. x is 1 and y is 1. So I'm going to plug in for my y a 1 and for my x a 1 plus b. And then I solve for b. I have 3 plus b and 1. I'm going to say 3 minus 3 plus b is equal to 1 minus 3 and find that my b, I'll zoom out a little bit, my b is going to equal a negative 2. So now I'm ready to complete. I've got the two pieces uh, that I needed to solve or write my function rule. It is simply y equals 3x minus 2. Okay? 3x minus 2. And I'm going to take this a little bit further now uh, and go over the graphing part, which comes from 11.4. If I were to graph this, uh, and I'm just going to draw a coordinate plane on your test. I'll actually have you graph in paper. Um, first thing I'm going to do is start with the last number. The last will be first. I'm going to start with negative 2. I'm going to go down two places. Down here, 1. Down there, 2. There is my y-intercept, or where my line is going to cross my y-axis. Now, my slope is 3. That can either be written as 3 over 1 or negative 3 over negative 1. We need actually two more points to draw a pretty accurate line. 
All right, three over one. That's my rise over my run. So I'm going to rise from this point three places. So I go one, two, and three, and to the right one place, and there's that point. Now, negative three over uh, negative one, I'm going to go down one, two, three places, and to the left, and we'll be right here. Then I'm going to connect those dots, and there is that line that is graphed. Uh, in the equation y equals 3x minus 2. Um, is how we write a fun uh, function rule. Also how we write, uh, how we graph an equation. Um, you may see on a test where I ask you to find um, from 11.2, I'll say find two solutions or three solutions of a, a function um, an example of that would be an equation such as, uh, let's say, uh, find okay, uh, two solutions for the equation 15x plus 3y equals 12. Okay, now. First step I need to do is solve for y, or get it into the y equals mx plus b. So I'm going to go in and say, uh, subtract 15x from both sides. That way I move my 15x over, and I'll have 3y equals negative 15x plus 12. Now, uh, my next step is I'm going to divide each term by 3. y is being multiplied by 3, so the opposite is to divide. And so I get y equals... Um, negative 5x plus 4. That's my equation of a line. Now, find two solutions. We're going to make the t-chart x and y. In this t-chart, I'm going to make it vertical. Randomly pick two numbers for x and y, 0 and 1. And so when x is 0, I just plug this x, this 0 in for this x. Negative 5 times 0 is 0. And I'm left with a positive 4. So when x is 0, y is 4. Then I'm going to plug in a 1 here for this x. Negative 5 times 1 is negative 5. Negative 5 plus 4 is a negative 1. And so when x is 0, y is 4. And when x is 1, y is negative 1. So those points are solutions of that uh, equation or function rule. We know that a, in order for uh, two sets of data to be a function of each other, uh, their ratio has to be one to one like we talked about in class. Uh, lastly, uh, on the test, you'll have to interpret some data, some data that deals with a um, scatter plot. And the scatter plot, remember there are three ways that we can have uh, data on there. You can have what's called um, a positive positive relationship, a um, negative relationship, and then lastly, they can have no relationship at all. Okay. Now. If we were to graph some data, and I'll draw you three cars and graphs over here, and I drew that out and I wanted to show positive relationship, that data doesn't all have to be on the same line. But if you notice here, it kind of rises to the right there. So if I were to draw a line of fit, it is moving in that direction. So as we move to the right, it rises a negative relationship as it moves to the right, it falls, as you see there. And then to have no relationship, that data will just kind of be all over the place. It would look, basically, there'd be no relationship or no line um, whatsoever. Um, I guess, you know, for no relationship, it might be, or whether we would relate something. Um, like say if we wanted to relate, uh, I don't know, um, height of a student 
We want to relate the height of a student to ACT scores. ACT scores. That type of relationship, I'm sure if you were to do it on a scatter plot, would come up as no relationship. Height of a student to ACT scores would be no relationship. I would know that tomorrow on the test. For instance, if I said, what well, give me a, a set of data that we would compare to come up with no relationship, we would want to be able to compare height of the student to uh, the ACT score to show that they had no relationship. Possibly four by the So anyway, uh, thanks, good luck. Make sure that you read uh, and study sections, um, as I said before, 11.1 through 11.4 for the test tomorrow, and uh, you'll do fine. See you tomorrow.